Brockton residents, this is Mayor Robert Sullivan. I'm coming before you today on April 15th, and today is actually my 100th day on the job. Uh, as you know, uh, people always uh, judge elected officials on the first 100 days, and today's my first 100 days. And I, it's an honor and a privilege to be your mayor, uh, born and raised here in the city of Brockton. It's such a special thing for me to come to City Hall every day and to serve as the mayor of the city of Brockton. And again, on January 6th, when I took the oath, um, I took it uh, in the best interest of the city of Brockton. I always will. Some of the things that I uh, have done, uh, I had made a campaign promise to do a community engagement meeting, and we did that at Brockton High School in the main auditorium. It was so well attended. We also had a uh, Stop the Violence meeting at Brockton High in the auditorium as well, and we've done a virtual town hall to do a question and answer for residents and business owners in the city of Brockton. I've appointed an interim police chief, uh, Manny Gomes, and um, volunteer uh, board members that I've appointed to the boards here in Brockton. Uh, both Brockton residents, one is an Emmy award-winning director and one is Brockton's former police chief and they're volunteering time on boards and I thank them. I also have made some historic promotions here in the city of Brockton. The history of Brockton Police Department, we've never had a female lieutenant. I made that appointment and I'm so proud of, of Lieutenant Perez. Um, we've also seen 12 graduates from the fire academy. 12 uh, brave uh, firefighters now here in the city of Brockton and new police officers have joined the force as well. So I do want to thank my team uh, here in the mayor's office, great colleagues that work here. I want to thank all the department heads as well. Um, and I want to, of course, thank the public servants that put their lives on the line every single day, the Brockton Fire and Brockton Police, um, and also um, the DPW workers that are working on cold, cold days and cold mornings fixing, fixing broken pipes. And I will tell you, uh, when I first took the oath of office, I wouldn't have thought that we would have had a blackout of over uh, 7,000 households in the city of Brockton, and then a major water break where we had over 5,000 houses without water. Uh, but through the efforts collectively working together, we got through that. And now, unfortunately, we're dealing with the COVID-19, the pandemic that's uh, crippling the, uh, the Commonwealth and the country and the world. And, um, right now, as I speak to you, unfortunately, we've lost 36 residents, 36 people have passed away um, due to this COVID. And since March 1st, we've had almost 1,200 uh, Brockton residents that came down with COVID. Uh, and right now, current cases, we have um, 650 Brockton residents dealing with COVID. So I want to thank, first of all, the brave um, people that work at the local hospitals and Brockton Neighborhood Health Center, the doctors, the nurses, the physician assistants, the, the techs, the people that are on the front line right now working with the EMTs and of course the Brockton Fire and Brockton Police. You're making a difference. You know, um, you know the people really um, appreciate your efforts. I also want to thank the essential workers that are right, right now working in the pharmacies and the supermarkets that are working right now to provide the food and the services that Brockton residents need. Um, you know, I never thought when I took that oath that I'd be dealing with this, but I'll tell you, I'm surrounding myself with talented people, experts that are helping us work together. We're working with the city councilors, we're working with the school committee, we're working with the state reps and the state senator. I've gotten a lot of calls and support from Congressman Stephen Lynch and U.S. Senator Markey and U.S. Senator Warren. And listen, we're all in this together, and I know it's a scary time. It's, un, it's really an uncertain time right now. And I'm a dad of three young children, so I, I really understand that right now. But um, rest assured, we're going to get through this, and we're going to get through this health uh, crisis. I want to thank right now, though, uh, also Superintendent of Schools, Mike Thomas. And Mike and his team on the school side has distributed over 5,000 laptops. And as, as mayor, I'm also chair of the school committee, and we're working diligently to make sure that the teachers have the resources to teach the boys and girls. And I want to thank the boys and girls for their patience. It's really a difficult time right now uh, in, in our history, and we're going to get through this, but we can only get through this together. And I'll tell you, at some time this year, I'm going to be able to do my state of the city, and I can talk about goals and projections of how we're going to go, but that's down the line. Right now, I can only talk to you about what we're facing right now, and we're facing a serious pandemic, a health crisis, and I'm asking you respectfully, let's adhere to the standards, social distancing, physical distancing, no less than six feet, hopefully more than that. Governor Baker is saying wear a mask and gloves when you're out in the general public if you're going to be in close contact with other people. Listen, Brockton, let's come together and make sure we can slow down this virus and eventually get past this virus, you know, and, 
The only way we can do this is working together. And I do know that other than the health um, situation um, that's really uh, at the paramount, we're having some strong economic disadvantages right now. Our economy locally and state and nationally is really troubled right now. And, you know, the only way we're going to come together is to work together. And, you know, that's why I'm speaking to the Metro South Chamber of Commerce and the Montello and Downtown and, and Campello Business Association. And I'm talking to small businesses here in the city of Brockton. And I'm working with our state uh, leaders. And I'm working, of course, with our federal uh, assistance to Small Business Administration. Um, this is what we need to do. We need to adhere to the standards that the healthcare professionals are telling us. And as mayor, I'm going to continue to stress that because I have a duty to protect you. That's why I've closed uh, City Hall. That's why I've done a local emergency. That's why I've closed the playgrounds and I've locked the doors of DW Fields Park. I'm doing that out of abundance of caution. Um, you know, the first 100 days is, is always a linchpin of, of a politician, but I'm not a politician. I'm just a guy from Brockton that's trying to serve the city that I call home, that I love. And it's an honor and privilege to do that. I thank each and every one of you for your support, for your guidance, for your friendship. Let's always be the city of champions, and we are, and we're going to continue to be the champions as we get through this pandemic, and then we'll figure out uh, how the state of the city will be addressed. But again, I thank you for your time. I thank you for your patience. I thank you for your understanding. If you need anything, don't hesitate to contact me. My office is 508-580-7123. We're going to get through this together. Um, again, I wish you and your family good health, good fortune, and be safe. I'll be back in touch soon. Thank you. Have a good day.